Hello friends, we are going to look at the island of Trinidad. That's an island in the Caribbean. It makes a part of the country Trinidad and Tobago. And we are on the south, southwestern side, the very southwestern tip of Trinidad, in a place called Ikakos, and especially the Ikakos wetlands. That's it. You see that black area? That's a swamp, a lagoon. And this is it. Notice how on the map it was showing like a black area. Well, the water here is actually black. I don't know what causes it to be that color. Maybe somebody who is expert in this field can let us know in the comments area. Or if you know, feel free to chime in. This road here, that's actually the southern main road. So I know most of you would think about the southern main road as being the place near Kirep going down to Central and South Trinidad, but it also reaches all the way to here. And let me just take a minute to say, please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like and share. Let people know about JB's Man Cave and the awesome videos that we create for you that shares uh, a bit about Trinidad, other areas in the world and critical social issues. It's always a worthwhile watch. So let's look at the wetlands. Let's stop here and look and see. What do we see? Trash. People, we really need to get rid of that. The road here is very narrow and you can see where I had to park. I literally had to hold on to the truck to come out. And you can see here how dark the water is. Now as I cross the road, I'll give you a better shot of the lagoons. It's separated by the road and there isn't like a walk-in area I mean literally if you come off the road even a few inches you land in water so how this road is actually suspended or remaining whole I don't know because literally on the edges of that road is water even though you're seeing green grass below the grass is water now, a lot of people have said they've seen caiman, crocodiles, alligators, what have you, a lot in the area. I didn't wit witness any, but you see this little grass area here? I heard a lot of stuff moving around. And it was kind of creepy, to be honest, because if anything there is watching you, be it snake, caiman, or whatever, they can leap. So, while you're walking around this area, just be careful. I don't know if you can pick it up, probably you will if you have a very large screen TV. I know some of you like to watch this on your very big screens. Well anyway, if you can, you will see thousands of coconut trees in the background. There are a lot of plantations here and we're going to look at it more. Or if you have seen some of my videos of the area, you'll see more of it. This is the other side of the lagoon. And now we are going down the road a bit. We're still in the, more or less the wetlands area, but this is the part where there's dry land. And this, for me, was kind of iconic because growing up as a kid, when you come to the countryside, you would see things like this. Cattle moving, grazing. It's something that I hardly see. Even in the video I, met, I made going through Brazil, Trinidad, I hardly see, saw any cattle. Here I'm seeing a lot and in videos to come in this road trip you'll see even more. But this to me is a picturesque scene. It's just beautiful and so beautiful in fact that we decided to stop here a while and look. I just love looking at animals, looking at the green, looking at nature. We live in such a fast moving environment where people just, you know, zip, zip, zip. They press, they want to press a button and everything is solved. You know, a lot of aggression, anger. And places like this that are serene, peaceful, bring you closer to nature, help you to relieve all that stress. That calf is taking the milk of the mother. It's a big calf, but... Seems like the calf is still wanting the milk. 
any bull in the distance is keeping an eye on me, what I'm doing there. That's the name of the two lagoons. One is the Great Ikakos Lagoon, and the other one is the San Jose Lagoon. And like it said in that little um, text bite, you could also see the scarlet ibis around here, but I did not witness any. In fact, it was only those white stalks that I saw on a few smaller birds. There was a time when the Express covered an article about how the wetlands was drying up. It doesn't seem to be the case now while we are in the rainy season. But I don't know what it's like in the dry season. If you've visited here in the dry season, please tell me if you've seen it dried up. Um, it would be a shame to have these wetlands destroyed. They carry so much biodiversity. So I hope you enjoyed looking at the wetlands and the green and the animals around Ikakos wetlands today. Thanks so much for watching.